Well, I'm Pennywise, the dancing clown. <laughs> In this video, we'll be showing you how to make Pennywise come to life. All you need is two TFT displays, a Raspberry Pi, auto fruit bonnet, a motion sensor, a male pin connector, female connectors, female to female wires, and a Wi-Fi adapter, which is optional. Links for the materials are down in the description. As you can see here, we've already pre-soldered the female connectors to the auto fruit bonnet. Now what you need to do is attach it to the male pins on the Raspberry Pi. So for the next step, you need to attach these male pins to the TFT line on the circuit board. You will do this with solder, but make sure you take the bonnet off the Pi. As you can see, we have all these freshly soldered male pins. This includes the right and left TFT male connectors, the GPIO 4 male connector, and the power and ground male connectors. After that, you're going to connect the female to female wires to the male pins on the Pi and the pre-soldered male pins to the TFT screen. As you can see, there's one extra pin on the screen and you will need to leave this empty. To attach the motion sensor, you're going to attach female to female wires to the GPIO4, the 5 volt, and the ground. This is how it should line up to the motion sensor. For our Pennywise cardboard cutout, we had already cut out the eyes and we put the motion sensor in an inconspicuous area. As you can see in the back, we use various pieces of wood to reinforce the cardboard cutout. We'll have a place for the pie, a handle for carrying, and a leg for stability. Then we're going to attach the eyes and put the pie on the pie shelf. Then we've attached the motion sensor. To make this more mobile, we've attached it to a power bank. Finally, we've added the speaker and neatened up the wires. The software side. The first thing we did was we forked the Pi Eyes project from Autofruit. The link is down below in the description. Next, we made changes to Eyes PY. Some of these changes include importing Pi games to play MP3s. Then we use the GPIO module to listen for motion on the GPIO4 pin. After that, we need to add the music function, which randomly reads a directory with Pennywise sounds in it. Our motion sensor fires an event to make the S statement true, which kicks off a thread so we can play music and display the eyes at the same time. Finally, if there's been no motion for 15 seconds, we close the eyes. All of Pennywise's sounds are in the music directory. These need to be moved to the boot music directory on the Pi. Now that it's completed, Pennywise is ready to scare. This isn't real enough for you. <laughs> I know your secret, your dirty little secret. Secret, your dirty little secret. 